Hey beautiful and welcome back to this Flawless Friday. This Flawless Friday I'm going to go over my nighttime spa night, spa day, whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to go over my nightly routine when I'm doing a treatment at home and also what I do from day to day just to keep my face cleansed and clean and um, what products would be best for you if you do have combination normal skin. We'll have someone else come on and do a video for combination oily or oily to dry skin, vice versa, whatever. Um, and if you have questions about some of the products we have, make sure you leave them in the comments below or give us a call at the spa and we do have free consultations. So stay watching and tell me how you like everything. So, hi everyone, and I've just gone ahead and cleansed my face in the shower with my Proderm Gentle Cleanser and my Remington Reveal Facial Cleansing Brush. Um, I use a facial cleansing brush just because I feel like it gets better into my pores and helps with my T-zone and um, helps remove any buildup of foundation, concealer, powders, and any type of brow gels. So I've just gone ahead with those and now I'm going to go in with my Vivier Refreshing Toner, um, which I, as you can tell, I switch up my product brands depending on the person and depending on your personal needs. It is always recommended. Sometimes the facial wash isn't what you want. Um, like for myself, like so that I switch up my brands because I have more of a combination normal skin. So I don't get a lot of breakouts, thankfully, or um, a lot of things that I'm sensitive to, but I do find that the gentle cleanser works great enough for me just to remove the product, and I don't wear a heavy, full face of makeup. And with my Vivier Refreshing Toner, which helps um, refresh my skin, tone my skin, even out the skin texture, and uh, it's really good. You can use it on your face, your neck, your decollete, all that just to kind of cleanse up and refresh that skin. So I like to use it on a cotton pad and just gently expo like tone those areas of your face. Make sure you do your cheekbones, your cheeks, upper lip, chin, and your T-zone. And, and now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with, because today is my pamper day. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Proderm Micro Peel uh, Mask. It is one of my favorite masks that we have at the salon. It's really good for doing a mini facial at home. Um, and you get a lot of products in here, like a lot of facials, I guess, out of this product. Um, it is a glycolic acid, so it does help remove and start the turnover of your skin um, you can use it on your face in your neck and your neckline I typically just use it on my face especially my t-zone because I do have combination normal skin sometimes I do feel like it's a little bit more oily and when I do get that random breakout I like to make sure that um, I go ahead and hit that area just so that way it's nice and cleansed because you don't want any type of buildup where then you're starting to get those breakouts. So I'm just going to go ahead. As you can tell, this is a well-loved product. And I always use a freshly cleansed, um, I guess this is a foundation brush, but I use this particular one for my masks and I cleanse it after each time with a shampoo. And I just go ahead and take, and you want to make a nice amount of this product going on the face. I believe they say like at least three millimeters thick on the face. I don't go everywhere. I just use it on my cheekbones. And then I go on my T-zone and my chin. I don't do my upper lip. I don't do a full face, but it all depends on the person. Um, I do want to let you know when putting this product on, there is like a sudden, because of the glycolic acid in it, of course, it does have a type, a, a small tingle into it, completely normal. If you can't handle it, don't leave it on for the full 20 minutes. Um, everyone's different, but for me, I do leave it on for the full 20. It doesn't really harden or anything. It slightly hardens, but not like crazy amount. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this on and then we will see you in 20 minutes. So obviously I've just cleansed my face. One thing with cleaning your face after taking off a facial mask, you want to make sure you use warm water. I put cold or cooler water after to cleanse or to close those pores. Um, uh, the warmer the water opens up the pores. Same thing with hair. Warmer the water opens the cuticle. When you put that cooler water on after conditioning, moisturizing, whatever, it closes the pore so that way no more bacteria or with hair, no more split ends. So now that I have just finished taking off the facial, you can already tell like my skin has more of a radiant glow. Um, it is going to continue because of the glycolic acid turning over my skin. So it's going to make it stay fresher, brighter, and even tighter. So I love that. And I forgot to mention, I did do this when I was off, off camera and I do apologize is I use our Swenya lip balm, um, lip scrub, sorry. It's in bubble gum, tastes amazing, but you don't need it. The unit smells good. And it has the sugar scrub. And you just go ahead and put it on your lips and it just helps exfoliate your lips as well as you're exfoliating your face with that glycolic acid. So now that I've done those, um, I'm going to go in with now my Swenya. So as you can tell, I've used three different brands that are all available at the spa. I'm going to go in with my Swenya Complete or Complex Moisturizer. It's our brand from the salon. Just moisturize my skin. Um, one thing I like to do actually with my moisturizer is keep it in a cooler area because when I go ahead and put it on my skin, it's helping close those pores and also keep that moisture locked in my skin. You don't want moisture to just melt off right away. And then if this was my morning routine, I'd be switching this up using my moisturizer, but then going in with my Vivier uh, Sheer um, sunscreen, facial sunscreen. And that basically helps mattify and protect my skin in SPF 45. So it's an amazing product as well. So just to cap my nightly routine, I use the Proderm Gentle Cleanser. I use this morning and night. And then I use my Refreshing Toner from Vivier. I use this again morning and night, especially before makeup, put, uh, being, applied, before makeup being applied. Um, and then today we did a facial treatment. So I use the Micro Peel by Proderm and to finish and the Swenya bubblegum lip scrub and to finish up everything I used our peptide Swenya's peptide complex moisturizer and as you can tell my skin is a lot more glowy and glossy than when we started so I definitely recommend these products to anyone who has combination to normal skin um, and if you have other skin types or have questions about other skin types or what you have products about or questions about our products such as Vivier, Proderm, or Swenya, shoot us a message, leave us a comment down below, or even send us a direct message on our Instagram or give us a call at the salon. We cannot wait to hear from you guys. See you next fall is Friday. So just remember to like and comment and share our videos. And if you have any questions again, make sure you send it down below or you can message us at blended by stephanie which is stephanie's account or hair love by elizabeth which is mine or even the spas at laser at spa and can't wait to see you next time have a beautiful evening of relaxation and can't wait to see you